yes guys welcome back to the channel it's time for yet another match day vlog so today it is a trip to stevenage as they take on rochdale so stevenage have played three games before kickoff they had played Tranmere, stockport and walsall we drew to walsall but beat Tranmere and stockport so they currently sit on seven points before kickoff and i don't know where that put them in the table before kickoff but it was pretty high i think they were about fifth or sixth but Rochdale, on the other hand, playing three games and losing all three. And that sat them at the bottom of the table before kickoff. Let's get straight into the vlog. <laughs> Oh, 
that kills it off, because what's that? That produced absolutely nothing in this game. Oh, wait. Oh, offside. Offside. Where the fuck has that come from? How was he offside? How was he offside? How was that offside? What? Well, it's offside, 1 0. Pulling in the box and Rochdale just keep on grabbing the Stevens players. Yeah, probably gonna put both of them, but we're gonna see what the outcome is here. There's probably gonna be no bookings because it was just tussling about. Yeah, I don't think there's gonna be any outcome here, it's just gonna be a talking to from both, but they're both pushing in and touching them out. So guys, that is it. Stevens won, Rochdale nil. Now that was deserved, I think. I think Stevens definitely did deserve the win. They were all over for the majority of that game, maybe excluding that last 10 minutes. But before the 80th minute, Stevens really should have been at least three up, uh, probably even four or five. They had so many good chances and Rochdale for the majority of that game did look pretty useless. And I don't use that word lightly, so... They were misplacing passes. They didn't foray that much into Stevenage's half. They were just pretty useless at times. So, But uh, um, that last 10 minutes, they did actually find their stride a bit when Stevenage decided to sit off. But um, they couldn't take a chance they had. And um, Stevenage took all three points with the one goal. Um, but really, it should have been more. But guys, before I go, let's take a look at tonight's results from Skybet League 2 and the current Skybet League 2 table after tonight's games. So guys, here are tonight's Skybet League 2 results. Barrow have taken a 2-1 win at home against Walsall. Colchester United also have taken a 1-0 win at home to Bradford. Crawley Town lost 2-3 at home to Northampton Town. Crew Alexandra beat Sutton 1-0. Doncaster Rovers beat newly promoted side Stockport County 2-1. Gillingham lost 2-0 at home to Harrogate. 
and Grimsby versus Carlisle. That game was actually abandoned due to a waterlogged pitch. I don't know how much rain there was up in Grimsby, but there must have been a lot. Hartlepool and Tranmere could only find a 0-0 draw, so it's a point apiece. Mansfield 5, AFC Wimbledon 2, and AFC Wimbledon were down to 10 men on the 45th minute, so they had to go a whole half of football with 10 men. Newport County lost 3-2 at home to Salford City. As we know, Stevenage beat Rochdale by a goal to nil, and Swindon Town drew 1-1 at home with Leighton Orient. So then guys, let's take a look at how the League 2 table shapes up after tonight's results. Salford City, Leighton Orient, Northampton and Stevenage all sit joint top with 10 points. Salford, Northampton and Stevenage all won their games, but Leighton Orient only drew. Just behind them four in fifth and sixth place sits Crew and Barrow with nine points. Both those two won their games tonight as well. Below Crew in seventh place is Doncaster Rovers with eight points after winning their game tonight. In eighth place is Walsall with seven points. They were only one of two sides in the top 12 who lost their games tonight. In ninth place, but also on joint points with Walsall, is Harrogate Town. They caught up to Walsall tonight after winning their game. Just below Harrogate is Mansfield Town in 10th place after winning their game tonight as well against AFC Wimbledon. They are on six points. In 11th place sits Carlisle after their match abandonment tonight. They have only played three games. I'm not sure whether they're going to be rescheduling it for another time or playing from where they left off. They might as well just restart it because I think it was 0-0 and I think the game only managed to get 20 minutes of playtime. So they have only played three games and they currently sit in 11th with five points. Wimbledon are in 12th place with five points despite losing their game tonight against Mansfield. They still managed to solidify their place in the top 12. Now then, in 13th, 14th, 15th, 16th and 17th place, Tranmere, Bradford, Colchester, Sutton and Grimsby all share four points. But Grimsby do have a game in hand on their opponents after tonight's match abandonment against Carlisle. Just below those teams is Stockport, Swindon and Gillingham, who are also deadlocked on three points. In 21st place is Hartlepool. They picked up only their second point of the season tonight after their goalless draw. And the final safe spot in the Skybet League 2 table in 22nd place it is Crawley Town with just one point after their loss tonight against Northampton. Now then, the bottom two, the place you do not want to finish come the end of the season. In 23rd place sits Newport County again with just one point but with a goal less than Crawley Town after they lost tonight at home to Salford City. And to round off so the Skybet guys, League so 2 table, really rooted to the bottom of the like, table after tonight's loss well at Stevenage is Rochdale, who's sitting in 24th so in place meantime, with zero points. Month, whenever you're watching this, and I'll see you guys next time.